How to animate type in Adobe Animate. You're going to want to make a graphic for the... Hold on. Insertion point. Grab your line tool, click and drag down. Hold shift to make sure that it's vertical. The length is up to you. Once that's done, you're gonna select that line and make it a graphic and name it. Go inside the symbol, select the layer and head into the properties tab. And we're gonna give this an alpha. Make sure that the alpha is set to 100. Select the frame, create a keyframe, go back to the properties and change that alpha to zero. Select the first frame and add some exposure, about nine frames. Do the same for the second frame. Then exit the graphic. Next, you're gonna to wanna to grab your type tool and type out your message. Then select both the message and your insertion point and click F8 to make a graphic. Go inside the graphic. If everything's not selected already, hit Ctrl A to select all, and then hit Ctrl Shift D to separate everything. Next, we're gonna to wanna to add some exposure. Line up your insertion point with the beginning of your message. Then, using the empty layer, create a rectangle that's big enough to engulf your message. Then, move that in front of your insertion point. Now we need to reorganize our layers. You're going to want the insertion point on top, the rectangle layer in the middle, and your message on the bottom. Right click on the rectangle layer and click mask. Unlock the mask layer so you can see your message. Now we're going to animate it and your timing may vary from mine. On both the insertion point and the mask layer, create a keyframe at around 32 frames. Then create another one about 10 frames further and then click and drag both the assets. Make sure that you engulf your first word. Create another keyframe about three frames further down, and then create another keyframe about 10 frames further down. Drag both assets again, making sure that you've engulfed the next word or whatever you want to engulf. If your message is longer, rinse and repeat until you have completely covered it up with your mask. Once that's all done, lock your mask layer. Right click and apply tweens in between the two large gaps we just created. Shape tweens for the mask layer and classic tweens for the insertion point. Once that's done, exit the graphic. Add some exposure and play test. Nice. Hopefully this was helpful. If you like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe follow and share the video. If you really like what I do, support the struggle on Patreon and on Teespring. Stay awesome y'all. Take care.